Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Fine. This is my first class. Yes. Yes, I was about to ask you that. Well, good. Well, welcome, first of all. My name is Natalie de Flores. I am the teacher. Uh, yesterday, I was wondering about you, and I said, like, hey, we have a new student, but she's not here. So. Hello, Nelson. Welcome. Okay, Anna, did you receive classes with English Corporativo before, or is this your first day? This is my first day, teacher. Oh, great. And what about your English background? Where did you study before? Um, it's in the US. Oh, okay, perfect. Okay. The alma mater of the teachers. <laughs> ah, it's perfect. <laughs> yes. Okay, very good. So welcome, I hope you feel comfortable in the class. I, I hope you enjoy it. And for sure, we are going to be working a lot together. So feel yourself welcome. Yesterday, indeed, well, at the end of the class, I don't know if you know, but at the end of the class, we have a little session with different students. They are called one-on-one, -on, -one, on which we stay at the end of the class and we talk a little bit about your English, how is it going? What are the things that you need to improve? And uh, we we talk for like for about 10 minutes at the end of the class and we do it in, in the order of the list. So uh, maybe there we can get to know each other a little bit more. Okay, so that is that it's happening in every single class. Mr. Nelson, welcome. Thank you. Mr. Hello, how are you? I am doing great. Very happy to see you. Maybe, Mr. Nelson, we should clean the camera a little bit because I see you a little bit blur. Lo veo un poco nubladito. Creo que la cámara la tenemos que limpiar un poquito. Oh, Esa okay. le puso el, el dedito y ahí nos quedó marcado. ¿Nos ha limpiado? Yes. Yeah. There you go. I can see you perfect now. <laughs> yes. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you see? The, the little secrets of the camera. Welcome, Maria Elena. Welcome to your class. Hi, good evening. Hello, good evening. Well, it is a pleasure to have you here in this rainy day, right? It's a very rainy day today, but we are hopefully going to have the class without any difficulty. Okay, so Yesterday, we were practicing a little bit. We were doing a little bit on the introductions of the class. We were working a little bit on the first topic that was uh, basically e-commerce, that it's all the business that you do online, right? We were talking about that. And we were doing some practice on uh, the different things of the English language. Right, and we started uh, checking on the platform, on the different parts of the platform that we are going to cover. And we also did some exercises of a uh, conversation, right? We were practicing speaking a lot yesterday. So today we are going to continue working on that a little bit. And we are going to work also on some definitions that we are going to be using for, uh, for the class, okay? So we are going to work on that today. That is basically what we are going to be doing today in the class. And for sure, we are going to practice a little bit of grammar as well. And we are going to practice also some definitions and sentences. Well, so let's start our day. Today is our class number two, right? And we are going to remember a little bit on the different uh, agreements that we have for the class, right? Remember that the agreements that we have is to practice our English as much as possible. 
right? It is really necessary to practice all the time. Even if you do it alone, even if you do it with music, with series, with any type of thing that you do it to practice, it is good to do it. Ask for help whenever you need. Be responsible about your learning, right? Because I mean, we have to do our best effort to learn. Keep your cameras on all the time because that's a, uh, that's a must for the class, where right? your camera should be on during the complete class. And for sure you have to stay for the complete class. Keep the microphones off if we are not using them. Attend all your sessions on time and participate as much as possible, right? Keep a cooperative attitude during class. Collaborate all the time with your friends in the WhatsApp group. El grupo de WhatsApp es una herramienta muy buena. Utilícenla si encuentran algún material que pueda servirle a sus compañeros. Envíenlo al grupo. Si ustedes están usando alguna plataforma, algún sitio o algo para practicar su inglés, compártanlo. Sorry for my commercial. Kiara quería salir en la clase esta noche. Work on the platform area. Right? Good. Yeah. Kiara is my little dog. <laughs> She's a very big animal. That's why you listen to her up to it, all the way down here. Okay, so that is those are the agreements of her class, right? That is important to remember them. Today, we're going to work on e-commerce, right? This is the topic that we started yesterday. And... Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, my dear class. So, yeah, okay, that's it. <laughs> yeah, it's like, ladremos todos juntos, and they do it together. That's very crazy. <laughs> okay, we are going to talk about e-commerce, right? We started this topic yesterday, but we're going to complete it today. We are going to go over some definitions, and we are going to use it uh, in the different parts of the class. But first of all, we're going to share a little bit of your highlights of your day. And I will ask our new classmates to tell us a little bit about what they did today and how was their day today. Let's start with Ana Raquel. Can you tell me a little bit about your day? How was it? What did you do? Did you do something that you enjoyed? Uh, I enjoy listening to music. I like uh, work and uh, where I, I work. Um, uh, today I go to the work uh, in bus because I don't have a, a car. Um, I, I work with uh, em entrepreneurships. Oh, with entrepreneurs, yes. right? Entrepreneurs are the people who I start the, the business, right? Yeah, right. That's uh, pretty nice. But in uh, uh, in Spanish because I uh, I don't speak uh, a lot of English. Okay, but that's that's uh, for, that's good. For that reason, I I have uh, this class uh, for learn uh, English. Okay, you have the class to learn English. Good, that's pretty awesome. And it is really good that you work with entrepreneurs, right? Because they see that you want to help them, for sure you are going to connect with tourism and for sure with visitors, right? Thank you, Ana, for sharing a little bit about you. Okay, Maria Concepcion, can you share a little bit about your day? How was it? Miss Maria Concepcion? Hello, hello. Hmm. You see, that's the importance of the camera. You see, that's the importance of the camera. And 
So let's go with Maria Elena. Maria Elena, can you share a little bit about your day? I arrived in my house. Oh, she's arriving to her house. Okay, okay, don't worry, Maria Elena. Okay, it's okay. Mr. Juan de Dios, how was your day? Hello, uh, <clears throat> my day was very busy. I was in a, in a, a, lot, a lot of meetings. Meetings. Uh -huh. Meetings, yeah. Um, maybe five during the day and I was working in my um, a schedule for for the plant. Okay. And I was a, I was a starting a new a course Ooh. online today. Oh really? <laughs> I am in both. Sorry. Oh my uh, god! But but it is uh, it's going to finish at uh, eight. Okay. 8 so what is what is your curse about? Um, gerenciamiento de auditoría. Okay. Auditory management. <laughs> yes. Hey, that's so nice. Well, congratulations because you are always looking forward to continue learning. That's pretty good. Thank you, Juan de Dios, for sharing with all of us. Okay, hello, Maria Concepcion. Uh, sorry to say, hold on to my phone. Uh, I'm, uh -huh. I'm a listener um, still at my job. Okay, okay, don't worry. Okay, but the good thing is that you are here and that you are in the class. So hopefully you can participate a little bit more soon. Yesterday, my dear students, what did you do? What did we do yesterday? Tell me, what do you remember from yesterday's class? We were talking about e-commerce. We were talking about e-commerce and what did we do in class? Practice the conversation. We practice the conversation, right? We practice a conversation and we were practicing a little bit on the different questions for e-commerce, right? What were we discussing in the questions? Do you remember? About the things we are, we are both. We have online. bought, right? About the things bought we online. have bought online, very good about the things we have bought online. What else? Advantages and disadvantages. Teacher. Very good job, right? Advantages and disadvantages of e-commerce, right? The different things that we have uh, online, right? What are the advantages? We were also talking about the process you follow at the moment of getting things online, right? So this was just a little bit of the introduction that we have for this topic. But to start the class, we are going to go over and I am going to share here my board. Here, I'm going to share my board here. Do you all have your notebook ready? Your notebook, your pen and your pencils? Do you have it ready? Notebooks? Yes? Okay. Yes. Get your notebook because you are going to use it. I am going to give you different words and I need you to create sentences, original sentences and complete sentences, right? Not only a little thing, it's like, I love my mom. No, right? Imagine if the words mom, you're not going to say, uh, my mom is beautiful. No, right? Something a little bit more complex, something a little bit more uh, built up, right? A very good sentence. And I know, you can do a lot better than some normal sentence. We are going to practice and I am going to give you the first word. Can you see my screen? Ready? Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay. Let's see. I am going to give you a, an easy one. There you have, but write a sentence with that one. 
And you have to include the word. Whoever has it, you can give it to me. Remember a complete sentence, not just a little one. Create a sentence. Whenever you have it, let me know. Okay, Jorge, what is your sentence? How about your microphone? Uh, was on? <laughs> Sorry. But uh, my sentence is the last month I bought uh, a book to learn English. To, to uh, show to the teacher I can learn. <laughs> okay, last month I bought a book to learn English, right? That's a, that's a good sentence, right? That's a very good sentence, very good. Another one, can you give me another example? But, another example, another example. There are no incorrect answers, so go ahead. Tatiana, go ahead. You have the face that you have the answer. <laughs> I have problems with, with the, the, the microphone, but I'm ready. Uh, for my son's birthday last year, I bought a gamer kit and he was really happy. Okay, very good job, right? For my son's birthday last year, it's so like, I bought a gamer kit for my son's birthday last year. Or you use last year at the beginning. So you say, last year I bought a gamer's uh, kit for my son's birthday, right? So, but the one that you can move to the beginning or to the end is last year. So let's keep it in mind. Thank you very much, but it was a very good sentence. Excellent, another example. Uh, I bought a cell phone online, but it doesn't work correctly. <laughs> I bought a cell phone online, but it doesn't work correctly. That's a very good sentence. Ana Raquel, go ahead. Uh, I bought a lot of fruits at the Tiendona today. <laughs> I bought a lot of fruit at the Tiendona it's today. It's yeah. true, right? It's a real sentence, right? Real examples. Very good job. Another one. Hey, I have one on the chat. Let me see. Yesterday, I bought a new pair of shoes, says Diana. Very good. Thank you, Diana. Thank you for your sentence. Another example. Nelson. Hello. Uh, my beauty. My wifi about a new blender online at a good price. Okay, my wifi, no, my wife, my wife. My wife, I'm okay. sorry, my wife. <laughs> okay, the Wi-Fi is the, the internet. So my wife, my wife bought my wife bought a new blender online at a good price. price. At a good price, right? My wife yes. bought a new blender online at a good price. Price. Tell me where because I need one. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yes. Let me see. Norma Carolina, give me your example. I have a bought on the internet three months ago and um, online place a uh, bag and uh, brown color. Okay. Give me the sentence and we're going to organize it. Give me the sentence. I bought on the internet. Three months ago. Okay. In an online place. A bag. Okay, I just got it there. Three. Okay. Okay, here. I bought I bought on the internet three months ago in an online place a bag. So you say I bought, let's organize this. I bought a bag in an online place three months ago, right? Okay, that's the sentence, right? I bought a bag in an online place three months ago, okay? 
that it's the sentence in an organized way. Now, we are, I'm going to give you the next words. The next words out. Computer mouse, sister, go ahead. Computer mouse, sister. In that order, teacher. No, it can be like in the order that you want because it's your sentence. Okay. Recently, the computer map of my sister is doesn't work correctly. Okay. Okay. Let me let me write it down. So you say the computer mouse of my sister doesn't work correctly, right? In that case, uh, we can say like recently, if you say, um, recently the computer mouse of my sister started like giving problems, you can say. So you can make it a little bit clear, but you can say like the computer mouse of my sister is not working properly recently in that case. So you just move it on the on the order. Another example. Just open your microphone and tell me. Ana Raquel, go ahead. I don't use a computer mouse sister because she is in the house. Okay, I don't use a computer mouse sister, but the computer mouse is one word and sister is another one. Okay, or you can say, I don't use the computer mouse of my sister because she is not in the house, right? You can use it like that. Okay, good. Fix the sentence. Another example. Another example. Me, teacher. Go ahead. My sister let my mouse in the beach, and for that reason I have to buy a new one for my computer. <laughs> okay, my sister left my computer mouse at the beach, and that's why I had to buy another one for my computer. Very good sentence, right? You see, why why did she take the computer mouse to the beach? We don't know, but she forgot it there and she lost it. Good. Mr. Manuel, give me one sentence. Okay. The computer mouse of my sister is is not is not have the complete uh, system. <laughs> the computer mouse of my sister doesn't have batteries. Doesn't. Right? Doesn't have batteries, right? Or I'm sorry, teacher. Yeah, that's good. No, right? I, I, got, I got you. I got you on the on the moment, right? It's understood. Okay. The, com the computer mouse of my sister doesn't have batteries or is not working properly, but, right? But what it's not it it's a uh, it's not working. It's not working. It's not working. Okay. The next one. Let's see. It's far. Yes. Um, it's not fake. The computer mouse was hidden in my sister's bedroom. Okay. Very good sentence. The computer mouse was hidden in my sister's bedroom, right? And you were looking and looking and looking everywhere, right? Very good job. Very good sentence. Okay. The next one. The next word is done. That's a word. Done. Yesterday, I finished my job early and my, and my boss told me, well done. Well done, very nice. 
nice. Very smart, consumer. right? Very smart. De esa manera yo voy incrementada mis ganancias. Y lo estoy viendo yo a título personal, sí. Okay, thank you. <laughs> to the manager, I was listening to the manager, right? Si no, las condiciones. Microphone. <laughs> the job, the job of the manager is almost done, right? Because he's about to finish the class. <laughs> I gave you another example. Let me see. And cha -cha -cha, I have one thing. I have some in the chat. Wendy says, I bought oil and sugar in the supermarket yesterday. Good. The computer mouse of my sister is new. Thank you, Wendy. She bought chicken and donut for everyone in the class. Hey, nice. <laughs> Who did it? <laughs> Very good. With done. More examples. The homework is already done. The homework is already done. Very good job. Now, I am going to give you a couple of words, but you are going to create a very short story that includes the words that I am going to give you, right? A very short story, it can be like three, four, five lines, okay? And try to use them. You can use the sentences in different positions, right? I am going to give you the list of words that you need to use. And for sure, you are going to include them on your little story. Okay, I have the first one, the next one. And the last word is going to be, there you go. With these six words, I need you to create a little story, right? Create a little story, a little paragraph but you need to include the words that are here, okay? There you go. Ah, I, I'm going to make you think a lot today. We have been done the platform on time every day, okay? On, in this case, when did you say the platform has to be done? The platform has to be done every day. Create. We are here in creation time. I know we are in creation time. Very my son has uh, eight years old. He likes to sleep with, he, with his blanket yellow. Every night, go to, go to her room and let me see, one, uh, tell a uh, story. After he sleep, I'm going to wash my teeth. <laughs> Okay, write it down for you to organize the idea, okay? Organicemos la idea. Escribámoslo para que él pueda organizar la idea. Y ese es el propósito. Para que usted la vea y diga, mm, no, I think I have to change this one, right? The blanket yellow mm, or the yellow blanket. Right. Okay, organize it, organize it. Well done, the teacher said when I finally <laughs> wrote my example sentence, when I finally wrote, because it's past, my example sentence. Thank you, Maria Elena, for the sentence on the chat.
If you want to send the story on the chat for me to check it, that's perfect. If you cannot do it on the chat on Zoom, you can do it on WhatsApp. There is no problem. Okay, every night when my grandfather goes to sleep, he wants to put his old yellow shirt. <laughs> That's nice, right? But he wants to use that one, right? I will send you my story. Very good. Thank you, Norma, for sharing it with us. <clears throat> okay, Manuel, do you have it? Well, I do it right now. No, go ahead, go ahead. Me, teacher. Go, go, go. Okay, Linda, were you going to share it? Yes, teacher. Go ahead. Uh, my dog loves to sleep on his old bed before the nap. He wants to take a little walk in the park. Every day is the same routine. Tomorrow we were going to wear our new yellow t shirt. Hey, that's very nice, right? Very nice, very nice, Linda. Excellent sentences. Tomorrow he's going to wear his new yellow t shirt. Anyone else? Oh, Diana, you're at home already. My God, that was quick. Yes, teacher. I was near to my house. Okay, perfect. No. Thank God. Um, I have it, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Uh, my yellow cat is very old and every day all he wants is to sleep. No, <laughs> yeah, every day. He, the only thing that he wants is to sleep. Very good job. Yeah, and it's true. <laughs> and, oh, how old is he? 10 years. Ah, oh, yeah. It's a it's a grown a grown up. Yeah. Olga Marlene. Olga Marlene, can you read it for us, please? I have it on the chat, but you can read it for everybody. Okay, Olga, can you help me to read it? 
Olga ya nos lo envió al chat, pero eh, nos lo puede leer, porfa, para todos. Ok, teacher. I like the old pajamas and when I to sleep, when I go to sleep, I see that the yellow flowers are not longer visible <laughs> because <laughs> I want to wear them every day. Very good. The yellow, the yellow flower, just like a, a little blur, right? They are not, yeah. they are not as vivid as they used to be. Okay, you have to to give them a little rest. And it is, it is funny because it's like uh, the yellow flowers on them. They they don't want. It's like ya Olga, ya no, <laughs> ya no no who says. <laughs> Very good, Silvia Zuleima. Can you help me to read it? Okay, um, my old grandpa <laughs> went to going every day to the yellow mountain because he want to see the sun and hear the bird song before the sleep. Okay, good. In this case, when you say like my old grandpa, it's okay, right? It's a, a good way. It's a nice way to say it, right? Because when we know that it's a grandpa, it's old, but now we never know, right? Hoy he conocido abuelos como de 30, 35, 40, so we never know. <laughs> and you say like my old grandpa wants, wants to go, right? In this case, you don't use a comma. My old grandpa wants to go to the yellow mountain every day. Okay, he wants to go to the Yellow Mountain every day because he wants, right, the third person, he wants to see the sun and hear, right here, or listen. In that case, is to listen to the birds, right? And listen to the birds uh, singing. Here you have singing before going to sleep. Okay, there you go. I sent it the corrected version. Oh, sorry, I sent it too. Okay, let me send it again to everybody. This thing, it's... Okay, there you go. There, that's for everybody. Someone else? I have one teacher. Go ahead. Every day, my old yellow car not work correctly. Because of that, I'm going to buy a new one. Besides, I want to be able to sleep good without nightmare, nightmare about my car. <laughs> okay, my old yellow car doesn't work. I say doesn't work. Good. So you don't want to have nightmares about being stuck in the middle of the street, right? <laughs> yeah, very good job. Thank you. Uh, I need... Mr. Go ahead. Go ahead, Manuel. My old dog likes sleep every afternoon in the yellow bed after he runs out in the yard. The yard. After that, he wants a big bowl of it. Okay, he wants a big bowl of? Eat. Eat or food? Oh, food, food. Or meat. <laughs> okay. Okay, he wants a big bowl of food. Meat, right. meat. Quise poner ahí, pero ah, meat, ahí. meat. No, that's okay. Oh. And meat is very expensive. What are expensive dog? <laughs> Nelson, go ahead. Okay. I have a, I have an old yellow car going to my work every day. It gets very old. I want a new transport. Okay, I want a new transport. You see, we have something in common here in many of the sentences. I don't know why. The yellow car, the old dog, the old grandparents, right? Most of you say like my old car, my old dog, my grandpa, my grandmother. So we have something in common there. That's pretty good. And the car, it's something common, right? I have two cars already. And let me see, I need one more that it's going to be the last volunteer. Me teacher. Go ahead, Wendy. Hi. Uh, Sorry, ya no veía. Okay. I am going to use my yellow pijama. No sé cómo se dice. 
Pijama. I sleep every day early because I am old. <laughs> I sleep every day early because I am old. <laughs> Ay, la vejez justo aquí en la costilla. Ah, oh my God. How old are you, Wendy? <laughs> 40 years. Sorry, 40 years. 40. Oh my God. I, I am almost, almost 38 and, I, and I'm not complaining. My God. I go to sleep early every day because I'm old. Justo en el paracetamol. Okay. Justo en el, en el, en el, en el april. Thank you very much. Thank you very much to you for all the sentences that you created. That's very good. You know, it is something very simple. If you tell me that you don't practice your English because you cannot do it, it's because you, you don't want to do it, right? Just one word. Agarren una palabra, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Aquí les di seis nada más. And it's a good way for you to create for you to invent, for you to use your ideas, right? It is really simple and you can do it with very simple things, okay? I am going to call the attendance, my dear class. And uh, remember when you listen to your beautiful name, say here or present, okay? Uh, Ana Raquel Vialta. Yes, teacher. Here, you say. You can say here or present. Cuando pasamos la lista, siempre decimos here, que estás aquí, ¿verdad? O present, que estás en la, en, en la clase también. So, Ana. Carlos Antonio. Carlos Antonio Escobar Hernández. Claudia María Meléndez. Present teacher. Diana Elizabeth. Here, teacher. Jorge Humberto. Present teacher. Jose Jonathan. Jose Rodrigo. Present teacher. Juan Carlos Rivas. Juan de Dios. Present teacher. Linda Yvette. Present teacher. Manuel Antonio. Present teacher. María Concepción. Present. María Elena Guadalupe. I'm here, I'm here. Mario Ernesto. Present teacher. Nelson Gabarrete. I'm here, teacher. Norma Carolina. Present teacher. Olga Merleni. Present teacher. Silvia Suleima, thank you. Present. Tatiana Michelle. Present. Wendy Maribel. Present. Very, very good. So uh, let's continue. Thank you very much, my dear students, for uh, your answer. That was very good. So yesterday we started working for sure on uh, the e-commerce, right? This was our first topic that we had on the day, right? The e-commerce. And I have here a short definition of it. I am going to ask, let me see, Linda Yvette, can you help me to read the definition of e-commerce? E oh, okay, Linda, Linda, and then Manuel, you help me with the next one because I have another one. E-commerce is now the new business hub conductive electronically. This electronic business hub consists of the world market, the, bu the buying and selling of products or service, transactions of found meeting buyers and sellers is done over the internet. E-commerce is called electronic commerce on, or internet commerce. E-commerce made our life quite easy and smart. Very good job. Thank you, Linda. Questions, new vocabulary, words that you don't know? Uh, hub. Hub. What is the hub? Okay, the hub, it's a community. 
okay? The hub is a community of people, right? When you say it's like mi tribo, mi gente, mi cluster, mm. <laughs> that's a club. Mi clan, right? Hey, do you remember the clusters, people? <laughs> ah, éramos tan jóvenes. So, yeah, it was like, okay, yeah, parece chiste, pero eran tres años acerca de eso. The hub, right? The hub or the hub, right? This case is the hub, right? It's the community, right? E-commerce is, is now the new business hub conducted electronically. Now, because if you come to think how many people use the internet to buy things, right? You are a whole community of people. How many people goes to Facebook market to look for things every single day? We use it even to go window shopping. Do you know what is window shopping? I am going to send it on the chat for you. Window shopping, what is the meaning of that? It's when you go, uh huh. Como andar vitrineando. Vitrinear. Vitrinear. That's the word. <laughs> window shopping. Why? Because you are just on the window, like, que bonito, mira. <laughs> you don't buy anything. And you do that on Facebook Market. You go to the marketplace and you're like, ah, mira, ah, que chivo zapato. Ah, que bonito. And then you are just checking on things that are, you are not going to buy. If you enter to what to Aliexpress and you enter like to check on what it is, right? You put it on the card, you remove it. You put it on the card, you remove it, right? <laughs> you can enter to Price Smart, right? To go and check on products, right? To Super Selectos, to the different places, just to window Walmart. shop, to Walmart, right? And, and, it's all, <laughs> and you enter to the page and you say like, ah, mira, hay oferta. <laughs> and then you just check. But you are part of that community, right? When you enter to that idea of getting things online, you are part of the hub. You are part of the community, right? This electronic business hub consists of the world market, the buying and selling of products, services, transaction of funds, meeting buyers and sellers is done over the internet. What happens now when you don't have cash? What do you do? Pay with a card. You pay with a card? Or you say, give me your number. I will send you the money. And then you do a little transaction, ta ta ta. Electronic transaction. You do an electronic transaction, right? You do an electronic transaction and that's it, right? It is online and you save your life. What happens, it's a very common thing there at my, at my workplace. And I say like, hey, I don't have money. Do you have, do you have cash? And I say like, uh, yes, I almost never have because I, I'm very forgetful about that. And I say like, okay, give me the cash and I'm going to send you the money on your, on your bank account. And it's like, okay, and we do the transactions there. Todo para no ir al cajero, right? But it's true, yeah. Or with the crypto thing, right? Crypto now, coin is correct for the crypto coin, it's correct, right? Or nowadays, for example, I have a page online on which I do little works, right? I do little work there and they pay me on PayPal. And it's just like that, right? And it's e-commerce as well, because I am giving a service and they are paying me for that service. Right? So e-commerce is called electronic commerce or internet commerce. It makes our life easy and smart. In the pandemic, you used to go to the Super Selectos page, ta -cha -cha, do the supermarket, to your house. Now in Mr. Donut, you tick, 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 you ask for the donuts to your house. Right? In every restaurant, you can do it online and they take it to your house. So it makes our life really easy, right? It saves, it saves us a lot of time. So, and there are many different types of business, right? There are many different types of business on the e-commerce world. Manuel, help me to read about this one. Okay, 
it refers to business that is conducted between companies rather than between a company and individual consumers. Uh -huh. It is called business to business, B2B, right? B2B, that's a very common word nowadays, right? No, es que ellos son B2B, dice la gente. Okay, son B2B, es una compañía que se apoya en otra compañía para trabajar juntos, right? And they do business between companies, right? It refers to a business that is conducted between companies. So, for example, I don't know, let's, let's just give an example. Imagine Claro and Tigo, that they share clients. So it's a business between the two of them. I am not saying that they work like that, but it can be an example of a B2B business. Or imagine if Juan de Dios has a little store in Santa Ana, and Manuel has one store here in San Salvador. But as you cannot have the clients together, you work among yourselves and you get the whole clients in Santa Ana and in San Salvador. So you work together in the business. That is B2B. And I have a little bit more about this definition here. Diana, can you help me with this one? <clears throat> Sorry. In B2B model, business sells its products to an intermediate, intermediate, intermediate buyer. <laughs> Intermediate, intermediate buyer, buyer who then sells the product to the customers uh, the other two yeah a wholesaler a wholesaler places an order from a company's website and after receiving consignment sells the product to the customer who comes to buy the product at one of the on one of its retailer outlets very good job right so if you have a product and the client needs it but you don't have it but another business has it you do the business there and you get it to the customer imagine that you go to simon and you need to buy one specific bed but they don't have it but what prisma moda has it right and so they do this type of business it's like hey i have a client for your bed so they do the business and they take the bed to the client right business to business and they place the product in the hands of the consumer. So that is business to business. Ha, an energy booster, people. In this energy booster, we're going to do the following, okay? This is a moment for you to stop everything you are doing and hug your beloved ones. Vaya a buscar a alguien, ahí no sea el gato, el hijo, el esposo, el hermano. Si no hay nadie, pues es el Hug your beloved ones. It's okay. Hug it. Hug it. Ah, there you go. Hug your beloved ones. If there is no I one prefer, there, give yourself a I hug. I prefer my dog. He's <laughs> my dog. Ah, <laughs> si, no, si no tiene a nadie cerquita, déselo usted solo. Oh. oh, look at that. What a beautiful thing. <laughs> Diana is going to get the cats. <laughs> what a beautiful it's thing. There. My dog go. is near. Ah, that's near. Look at Nelson. What a beautiful animal, the one that you have there. Very good job. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> right. Very nice. That was, a, that was a beautiful energy booster for the night. Very nice. Okay. The next type of business that we have. <laughs> Very good job. Olga Marleni, can you help me to read this one? This is the second type. B2C teacher. Business to consumers. To consumer. Business to consumer. Consumers. Transaction conducted directly between a company and consumers who are the end user of its product or service. Okay, very good job. Right? A B2C. Business to consumer. Transactions conducted directly between a company and consumers who are the end users of its products or services, right? This is the most common one, the most common uh, form of business, right? Business to consumer, right? You have it, a person needs it, you sell the deal and that's it, right? Business to consumer. And here we have the other definition. And for this one, I'm going to ask Wendy to help me to read it. Okay. Um, B two C model business sells its products 
Yes. Directly. To to a customer. Good. The directly. Di directly. You say directly. Okay. Let me see the next one. Maria Elena. Directly. Maria Elena, help me with the second line. Um, a customer can view the products, choose a product and order the same. Very good. A customer can view the products, choose a product and order the same, right? That it's good. Norma Carolina, the next one. Is business to consumer business are online retailers. Yes, Center. they are. Uh-huh. Um, Amazon click card. Okay. Amazon. Amazon is the most common B2C uh, example. Why? Because they have the product, many people need it, they go to the menu, they choose it, and they buy it, right? That's the way they do it straight to the consumer, right? The next one. Consumer to consumer. Silvia, can you help me with this one? Yes. Um, is, is it a consumer to consumer? Is it a business model that facilitates? Facilitates. Facilitates an environment usually online where customers can trade with each other. What is some very good example of this type of business? Uh huh. Which one? Facebook. Facebook, right? Facebook. It's a very good example of this type of business, consumer to consumer. I have mm -hmm. it, I don't use it anymore, or I have many of them, I sell it. And someone else is going to get it from me, right? So, and I have the second definition. For this one, I am going to ask Claudia to help me. Claudia Maria. Consumer to consumer. Assets. Assets like residential property, car, and residential property, cars, motorcycle, etc. Or rent a room by publishing the information on the website. The website may or may not charge the consumer for each service. Example, OLEX, OLEX, third online auction. Okay, an online auction. What is an auction? Do you know what's the meaning of this one? The online auction? No idea? No idea of no what idea. an auction is? I will give you one example. So, show the show the product in, in, in line. Yes. So, in line, like, like uh, a phone call or a video call. Okay. In an ocean, what you do, in, in as Mari says, they have the different products and they say, imagine that we are selling a very old Toyota, right? And we have it there. It's like, yeah, un Toyota L82. And you say like, 1,000. And the other one says, mm -mm -mm. I am going to give you 1,005, like, uh, exactly like that, right? And the other one says 1,010, 1,011, okay? <laughs> 1,011 at once or twice. $300, it's exactly. an old car. <laughs> it's an old car for free, you say. And then it's like, mm -hmm. okay, $100 to the lady on the back. And you say like, yeah, I got it. That's an option. Did you know right? that teacher, uh, my, my uncle sir, uh, told me that the, the old cars is for free. Let's any, go. Any yeah, because uh, they paid uh for a for a bill at the United States for for for, for if you uh, have um a vehicle uh, parking in the street ah okay 
So it's rather to it's rather to to give to give uh, to free, give it for, for free. free. Yes. I am going to buy. I am going to look for one, and I yes. will let you know. <laughs> La, la otra semana voy a llegar yo y le voy a decir, ¿para dónde están los carros gratis? ¿Dónde yeah. están los carros gratis? Sí, sí, sí. The Tower Companies eh, eh, have a, a, a big benefit for, for this for, for this service. Ok. I am, I am going, if I don't come back by car, I am going to look for Manuel. I am going to look for Manuel. Mire que si no vuelvo yes. de la beca en carro, o lo voy a buscar a Manuel. No encontré mi carro gratis, le voy a decir. Y ahí Yeah. Look at a, a, a specific person. <laughs> okay, very good. So that's an auction, right? That's an auction. It's when you buy the things, for example, in a very reasonable place, but you fight with other people for it, right? It is not just like that. And in this case, in consumer to consumer, you have different things. For example, residential properties, right? You can find cars, you can find motorcycles. Here in El Salvador, the most common thing are the beach houses, right? That you can find it's like, eh, <laughs> like if you were in Miami, right? $400 the night in front of what? In, in, in Los Cobanos, right? <laughs> in front of todas las piedras. Four hundred dollars the night. I mean, you cannot even go on the beach there because it's very horrible. So, this enters also in the consumer to consumer idea, right? The consumer to consumer. I have it. You need it, and you can get it. So that is the third type. So we have. What was the first one? B two B. B two B. The second one. Business to consumer. Business to consumer. The third one? C2C. C2C. Consumer, consumer, to consumer to consumer. Very good. And here we have the next one. It is? C2B. Consumer C2B. to B. C2B. Consumer to business. to business. Right? Consumer to business. And what is this one? What does it mean? Consumer to business. And Mario, can you help me to read it? Consumer to business, say to be. It is when a large number of individuals make their service or products available for purchase for companies seeking precisely this type of service or product. Okay. It is when you have what the company needs, right? If the company needs, I don't know, cotton candy and you make it, Right, and the company needs to buy it because they have a big party and everything. So you are selling consumer to business and they they can sell it on their own price, right? Ya si ellos le cambian el precio, pues that's it, right? But you are creating your product, you put it on the service and then they sell it, right? That it's consumer to business. And in this one, right, in this type of model, we have in, let me see. I'm going to ask Tatiana. Help me to read this one. In C2B model, consumers have products or services of value that can be consume, consumed by businesses. The businesses organization who fulfill the consumer's requirement within the specific budget approaches the customer and provides its services. Example, a blog can be written, written by an author for a business to improve sale of product products. And also eBay, eBay right? Very eBay. good job. eBay, right? It's like the consumer to the business. In, in eBay, they have all the products and the different companies just get them from there. A blog, a blog that can help for the company to grow. Now it is very popular, for example, the things on social media that you say, hey, we need a media manager. And it is the person who creates the business and helps your business, right? And they say, I am going to be the, what is what is the name of this, these people? I, they have a specific name. I don't remember. 
¿Cómo se llama el que lleva todas las redes sociales? Community manager. Community manager. Zuckerberg. For sure, it's Mr. Zuckerberg. He knows the life of everybody, right? Community manager. They have a community manager who is in charge of everything, who is doing TikToks, who is doing Instagram posts, who is doing everything. And for sure, they help your business to grow. Nowadays, we also have the influencers that they are like, Ah, mire, la niña Julita está ahí en, el, en, el, en la venta de lotes. Oh. And this is like, venga a comer elotes aquí a, a, no sé, a Humberto's, <laughs> el restaurante. And they, they hire this type of people because they, they attract customers to the business, right? So that's another type of business nowadays, right? Being an influencer. So that is the... Uh, the last type of business that we have, consumer to business, right? So we have the four different uh, definitions. Okay? Let me open the book because I am going to show it to you there. And I am going to share it back, okay? Here we have, let me share my screen with all of you. Okay, so yesterday we were talking exactly about this, right? In the conversation. Do you remember from the conversation why does Lucas want to start an e-commerce website? Yes, teacher. Why? Uh, because the, the handicraft, they sell well at the farmer's market. Okay. He sells them on the farmer's market, but he wants to go and sell people that are on the countryside, right? So that's why, that's why he wants to start a website. What are two advantages that he mentioned in the conversation? Do you remember? Customers can buy your products. It products 24-7. Uh, uh -huh. Through an automated platform, and and they uh, and they are also able to compare products and prices. Okay, people are also able to compare products and prices. It is very good when you buy something online and you say okay. like, "Mira, encontré este compare. teléfono en 20 dólares." No, hombre, ya lo tienen en 15, 50. Yeah, ¿A dónde dice? Mandame link. That's the most common conversation, right? It's like tick, 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 tick. And then it's like, hey, yes, ah, pero mira, este está rayado, este no sé qué. And then you start checking on the different advantages and disadvantages. Yes. What are two disadvantages mentioned in the conversation? There is the risk of shipping arriving in bad condition or not arriving at all. <laughs> the second one is the worst that you spent months waiting you for the product, the you lose but the money. But condition teacher, and the second is or not arriving at all. Yes, when it the arrives different. in bad teacher, conditions. Yes. <laughs> yeah, like I remember uh, there was, a, there was a, a time in the pandemic on which they, they had this offer with pizzas, right? And so I remember that I ordered a pizza and it was like when, when the pizza arrived, the person told me, you know, I had a little accident on my <laughs> way here. And I said, well, yeah, a little accident. I said, no problem. I said, no problem. I said, the little accident, I can, I can handle it. I said, the pizza is supposed to be squared and beautiful, but my pizza arrived like this. <laughs> So the pizza should be like this, right? Like all square, all beautiful. And it arrived like this. <laughs> and that was the little accident. And I said like, teacher, uh, like you, when you, when you order a uh, uh, soup. <laughs> yeah. Okay, it's, uh, it's, I, when I work for, for delivery service, uh, I, I didn't like uh, to chipping this so, type of, of food. 
<laughs> because it's a, big, it's a big problem. I imagine. Uh, uh, when when the people order soups and beverage, uh, it's, <laughs> it's horrible. Uh, la, la otra mitad de la sopa la traigo ahí en la cajuela <laughs> si la necesita. <laughs> yeah, so, I never, I never ordered it, teacher. I never ordered uh, soups. It, it is but, better, right? So that is yes. the second disadvantage, right? Things arriving in bad conditions or in not arriving yes. at all, right? Okay. Yeah, one, one day I asked something in pedidos ya, yeah, and the, the person <laughs> the person ate my food and he just took me the beverage and he told me, no, no le pusieron, no, no me, a mí eso me dieron, he said, and he only took me the refreshment, but he ate the bread and I was like, <laughs> y llamo a la compañía y me dijeron, no, yo le mandé el producto completo, le mandé todo, el sándwich y todo, y todo, and I was like, the person ate it. So do you see? <laughs> we have to. What do you say? Se derramó. It spilled out. Spilled out. Spilled out. It spilled out. Uh huh. On the so stomach. It's a, it's, a, it's a very common issue in the delivery service. <laughs> yeah, that's, I mean, that's a it's big a bad problem. experience for me. It was a bad experience for me. So you see that it's another disadvantage, right? When you lose yes. the things that you have bought. So when you work on e-commerce, right, we have different um, situations that can be like uh, on the process, right? We can have, we have selection, instant gratification, deals, infinite shelves, and brick and mortar store. What do you consider appropriate as a definition for each of these vocabulary that I have here? I am going to give you some minutes for you to analyze it and you can create your selection, Match. right? You can do the matching. So you can say, ah, number one is this one. Number two is this one. Number three is this one. Number four and number five. And then we are going to check it out. I am going to give you some minutes for you to read and analyze. Could you share the screen, teacher? Here I go. I am going to share it again. Can you see it now? Ya la pueden ver? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Yes, teacher. Okay. So here you have, here you have a selection, instant gratification, deals, infinite shelves. Shelves son los, las, um, how do you call this in Spanish? Um, Stores? Uh, no, 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 no. Estantes. Estantes, right? Estantes. Shelves. I forgot the Spanish. That happens when you teach English. And brick and mortar store.
Okay, let me know when you have the definitions ready. Finish, teacher. Okay, Manuel, help me with selection. What is selection? Selection, in my opinion, teacher, is uh, when, uh, when we're having a wide range of products from which customers can choose. Okay, when you have a wide range of products from which customers can choose. Can choose. Uh, do you all agree with Manuel? Yes, teacher, no, teacher, I think it's incorrect. Uh huh. Do you Come agree? Yeah. So you say, I agree. So I agree. I agree. I don't agree. I agree. Too. So you say, I don't agree. Okay, who doesn't agree? Jorge, tell me why. I consider the virtually unlimited extent range of product available in e-commerce stores. Okay, the virtually unlimited extent and range of products available in e-commerce stores. Okay, who gives more? Who gives more? When you select, right, you can choose. Yes. Right, when you select, you can say, mm -hmm, I want this one, I want that one, I want this other. So it was correct, right? Selection is having a wide range of products from which consumers can choose. Select clap for me, teacher. Yeah, clap for Manuel, people. <laughs> I clap for Manuel. I am, I am going to give you, let me see. I, am, star. Go, I am going to give you a star. I am going to thank give you, you a star. You. Let me see. I let me find that. it first. <laughs> let me find it first. There you go. <laughs> a little star for Manuel. Very good job. What about instant gratification? I think that is the desire to experience fulfillment without delay. Okay, instant gratification. Is it the desire to experience fulfillment without delay? Fulfillment is you say like, I have it, I found it, ah, thank God, done, no problem, right? The desire to experience fulfillment without delay, right? That it's instant gratification. I want it, I buy it, I have it, right? That it's instant like gratification, <laughs> exactly like that. I didn't want to make the TikTok here, but you, see, you got it on the process, very good. What it's a deal, what it's a deal, people? When a website offers products for sale. Exactly like that. When a website offers products for sale. It is difficult in some cases to identify because you see, imagine that you go to the supermarket yesterday and you saw the product in $10, right? And you say, eh, it's very expensive. I don't want to buy it. And you go to the supermarket tomorrow. And the thing is, it's on sale, you say, I want it. It's $9.99. It's an offer. Y aquí abajo dice, menos un centavo, oferta. And then you say, it's a deal. I want it. Black Before Friday. $10. Now, $9.99. Black Friday, for example. It's a whole process of deals, right? In May, for example, the TV, it's $500. In September, $600. And in Black Friday, 650 oferta. And it's like, but it's Black Friday, what you want offer? it, give it to me, give me two. 
Give me two TVs, not only one. September, the donuts. The donuts, but the donuts, for example. You have donuts all the year. But September, it's the same price, the same product. But it's two per one. So you say, give me five. And then you eat two and it's like, oh, yeah, I don't care. <laughs> and then you leave it there. No, mentira. Nunca he visto un ser humano que diga que no quiere una dona. ¿A quién no le gustan las donas aquí? Que me diga. ¿No? ¿Hay alguien aquí que no le guste? Que me diga, no, a ti a mí no me gustan las donas. My wife. Your wife, she doesn't like it. No. So you see, in Nelson, is like, mm, I'm very sorry. Nom, nom, nom. Two for me. <laughs> more for me. More, more for Nelson. <laughs> Voy a hacer el sacrificio de comérmelas yo. Yes. <laughs> so you see, well, that is a deal. Right, a deal is when, for sure, you get things for free. You see, yo pensé en todos ustedes. Miren, les traje don. Uh, <laughs> there you go for the class. I bought donuts for the class. There you go. When you get the donuts, yeah. invisible. Don't a visual. A visual donuts. Yes. Visual. What What is an infinite shelf? The virtual limited extent and range yeah. of products available, available in e-commerce stores. Very good job. That it's an unlimited, infinite, yes. infinite, infinite shops. Yes. Because there online, you have a space for as many products as you want. Okay? Yes. Ahí no le va a decir, ya no caben los productos aquí en your storage. No, mm -hmm. right? You can... Infinite. Put in a lot of products there online, a new ones, old ones, recycled ones, and yes. it is infinite, right? So, watch. You can you can sell almost everything. I think the only thing that you cannot sell on Facebook is animals. Yes. Animals and different services and uh, and other things that are harmful, right? So those are the ones that you cannot sell, but there you can sell all the products that you want. And a brick and mortar store. What is a brick and mortar store? A traditional business, right? That yes. is the name, brick and mortar, right? Brick, porque de, es obviamente de, eh, de ladrillo, right? Un lugar específico. Brick and mortar a store. A traditional business that deals with face its face. customers face to face in an office yes. or in a store. Yes. It is easy to deal with a customer face to face because you can talk and you can organize. But what happens online? What happens on the phone? It I is very complicated. It is very complicated. If not, ask Tatiana. Tatiana? How is the process of dealing with a customer on the phone? Uh, we have, well, you have to uh, speak with the with the man or the or with the person, and you have to try to convince, and you have to give all the advantages and try to just just try to convince i think to convince to convince the customer right and you have to be sure and even if the product it doesn't work you have to try to <laughs> to sound very sure about okay. it okay. in on on the contrary on a face to face store the person goes to the place because the person wants the product right Ahí no tiene que ir a buscar al cliente ni nada, sino que el cliente llega a donde usted. Porque necesita el servicio. And it is not like, mire, fíjese que le queríamos ofrecer. Nothing, right? Right, that it's on the on face-to-face the -face thing, that it's the advantage, right? It is one of the advantages of it. So here we have the different definitions for this, uh, this vocabulary that I was presenting here. So in this one, we have been talking about advantages and disadvantages, right? For e-commerce. I have here, for example, 
these definitions. And it says, let me just silence a little bit here. Thank you. I have here definitions like, for example, more reach to customers, there are no geographic limitations, right? Anyone, good or bad, can easily start a business. Customers' loyalty is not always guaranteed. Low operational cost and better quality of services. Easy to start and manage a business. And there are no sales when the website is down. I have these six sentences here. Which one will you consider as advantages and which one will you consider as disadvantages? If I tell you more reach to customers and there are no geographic limitations, would you consider that advantage or disadvantage? Advantage. Advantage. It's an advantage, right? Because it doesn't matter if you are here or in Japan, you can get those frozen pupusas, right? And they are going to send them to you. It doesn't matter where you are. Okay, anyone, good or bad, can easily start a business. It's an advantage or a disadvantage? It depends. <laughs> it depends, okay. right? Is. Any person can start a business. It's, advantage. it's a disadvantage in this because there you can run on this risk or not arriving at all, right? You can have this one, right? Imagine if it is a bad administrator for sure you are not going to get the product or the product is going to arrive in bad conditions. So it's a disadvantage because any person which is not experienced on the field can start a business. Customer loyalty is not always guaranteed. It's an advantage. It's a disadvantage, right? Si mañana sale otro con 10 centavos menos, Bye-bye. You will never see him again, right? Low operational costs and better quality of services. Advantage. It's an advantage, right? It's an advantage. Easy to start and manage a business. Advantage. It's advantage. an advantage, right? You don't need to have a, a place. You don't need to have a lot of people working and you can work on your business. And there are no sales when the website is down. Disadvantage. Disadvantage, right? Se fue el inter, se fue el place. <laughs> There's nothing there, right? No electricity, no market, no business, right? WhatsApp is down, no business, right? Now, many, many of these businesses are, uh, moved through WhatsApp, right? And they work a lot on WhatsApp and they do the business there. In this one, I need you to choose one of these ones. I need you to choose one and to give me what you consider a little bit more information about this sentence. ¿Qué andas haciendo? Perdón. Aquí dando clases. <laughs> aquí oh, yeah. My God. Es, enseñándole aquí a, lo, a, a la juventud <laughs> I need you to choose one of the sentences ok, it's ok, I, I do the same right? I do the same yeah. y de repente hago la misma voz de Kiara contestándome o sea, yo la regaño y yo misma me contesto yeah, I understand Diana don't worry Okay. Hey, what happened to my computer? I got stuck. Down. Yeah, no, I'm here. <laughs> I am here. <laughs> my computer, it's a little bit crazy. Okay, can you listen to me? Yes, teacher. 
Okay, I cannot see you, but yes. you can listen. To That's pretty good. <laughs> My computer is a little mm -hmm. bit crazy. So I need you to choose one of the of the sentences there, and I need you to talk a little bit more about it. Okay, vamos a dar un poquito más de información de lo que ustedes consideran eh, abonaría un poco a la oración que les he presentado. For example, here it says, eh, "Easy to start and manage a business, right?" You can explain a little bit more. When you start a business online, it is good because even when you don't have a lot of products or when you don't have a lot of uh, people working with you, you can work on a business, right? You can describe a little bit on each of the definitions, okay? I need you to choose one of them and to give me a little bit more information on each, on the one that you choose, okay? Choose one. Even it can be an advantage or a disadvantage. And explain it a little bit more, okay? Here it says a 10 line paragraph, but you're not going to do a 10 line paragraph. I just need you to explain a little bit more on the advantage or the disadvantage that you choose, okay? Choose one. Okay, let me know when you have it, please. María Elena, do you have your definition? Not yet. Okay, go ahead, work on it. Me, teacher. Go ahead, Manuel. Well, um, I choose. Uh, I chose. I chose. Thank you, teacher. I chose a uh, low operational cost and better quality of services. Go ahead. Uh, for example, in the in this type of uh, advantage, uh, when I uh, it's a it's a it's an advantage because when I want to sell one cell phone, all cell phone that I I. I don't need, and I said, well, I, I, I want to sell this this cell phone, but the cell is fast. I just open my social media, for example, uh, OLX, 
and I offer my product in this space. Uh, there are many people that would like to buy my product and the sale, it was faster. Okay, so in this case, as you can see, it's a low operational cost and better quality of service, right? It is easy for you to reach your customer and for sure yes. to do the process that you want to do on the sale. Very good job. Thank, Thank you, Manuel. Very good job. Excellent. Who's next? I need another volunteer. Okay, Jorge. I chose the number six. There are no sales when the website is down. Mm -hmm. uh, I consider in this station of the year, the rain is present almost each day. And because of that, there are a problem with the, uh, with the internet connection or the light is turned off. Yes. So it can be a big disadvantage, right? Because now that it's raining a lot, you can have a lot of difficulties with the connection and the rain. Very good job. Another one. Hey, teacher. Go ahead. I believe, well, I chose a customer loyalty is not always a guarantee. Warranty because I think the service, it can be, can be good or maybe the quality, but if the other company offer another another price or a low price, eh, always customer is going to choose that other option. So it's not always a guarantee when you if you try to to have the the customer loyalty because if another option always the, the, the customer, customer will run away will take yes yeah so it is it is like that right if you find a place where you can find it cheaper for sure people are going to run to the other place. yes even when the service is not that good yes right that's that's something very nice thank you very much tatiana i need one more volunteer me teacher go ahead Okay, I chose anyone good or bad can easily start a business. Um, the facility to create at e-commerce allows that all kind of people start a business even without the experience or the knowledge to do it and give a good service to the customers, making more difficult to e-commerce with experience to reach to customers, increasing the competition and the prices. Exactly like that, right? It doesn't matter if they know or if they don't know. They say, let's do it. And then maybe it's not going to be a huge success. And people are going to be criticizing and say like, no, it doesn't work. But maybe because of one bad experience. Very good job. And who is going to be my final volunteer? Go ahead. Okay, I chose a disadvantage. Customer loyalty is not always guaranteed. 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 You say guarantee. I think it is a disadvantage because there is so much competition and the client can change in seconds. Yes. There is the competition. For example, you mentioned it. Competition is one of the worst enemies because you say they have it better. No, they have a better price. For example, near the place where I work, there are like seven cafeterias and they offer similar products. But there is one that says like two per one, uh, one dollar less, this and that. And even when the product is not good, people always look for the best deals, right? Because they're near Torre Telefonica, you have a lot of different uh, different places to buy food. And people just go and choose the one that is cheaper, right? It happens there, right? Because they have a lot of different places where they can buy 
different products. Well, so in this one, we are going to work a little bit on the grammar of the day. In this case, I am going to show you, right? I am going to show you some sentences here. Can you check on the sentences? Yes, teacher. Okay. So in this one, I have two that I made already for you. And it says, did you watch a movie last night? And it says, I live in a house, but my friend lives in an apartment downtown. And what about number three? What do you think can complement that sentence in the best way? Which one do you think it's the best option for number three? Did you study English? The one that you are going to change is the one on the little uh, parentheses. Did you study? Okay. Did you study English? Okay. Yes, I do. Okay, it can be and it can be in both ways. If you want to do it in past tense, it will be possible, right? If you change the first one to past tense, you change the second one as well. Is it like, did you study English? Yes, I did, right? It can be in the past tense. Or is it like, do you study English? Yes, I do. Okay, so you have the option here. And let me write it for you here. <laughs> This is like, do you study, right, in the normal form, right? Do you study English? Yes, I do, right? And what about the next one? What your brother do last weekend? What did, did your brother do? What did your brother do last weekend? What, what did, did, because you have? What did your brother do? Last, last weekend, time. okay, He's last weekend. Past. It's tense. past tense. Very good job. Sam and Julie. Sam and Julie still like. 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 Likes or like? No. Like. Like. Very good. You cannot say likes. likes. You cannot say likes no. because it is not only one person. It's two people. Yeah. It's plural, right? Sam yeah. and Julie still like their jobs at the library. What about number six? Did you buy a new television last week? Did you buy? Why? Why? Tell me why you don't have to change the verb. Because, because it's a question and because you have the auxiliary in past. In past. It looks exactly like that. The next one. Why is Stephanie late for work yesterday? Yeah. Was. Why was? Yeah. Why? Why wow. was Stephanie late for work yesterday? Right, because the past tense of be is yes. was. Yes. In Canada, it always. No. Uh-huh. No. Snow. It is no. 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 Yes. Because you have it, right? Because you yes. have it and you are referring to a third form, right? It's nose. Number nine, where did you dinner last Thursday? What did you eat? Eat. Where? Eat. 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 Where did the you eat? The auxiliary is in pass. The auxiliary eat. did is in pass. Yes. So the verb is normal. Number 10. Were you busy last night? Was. With you. With you, you use uh, where. Okay, yes, yes, were you. You were. Yes. Was is for he, she, or it. Yes. Were you busy last night? No, were I. You? 
wasn't. Like weren't. No, I wasn't, right? Or no, I was not, no, I right? No, I wasn't. Okay. In this case, it's like, were you busy last night? In this case, you use where because you have you, but in this case, it's like, no, I wasn't. No, I was not, right? Because you are referring to you. And with I, you use was, okay? So this was the little example for you to see how to work on it. But I am going to give you some minutes after the attendance for you to work together, okay? I am going to call the attendance right now. And remember, when you listen to your name, say here or present, okay? Ana Raquel. Picture. Yes. Here. The picture, please. Yeah, ahorita mm -hmm. se la vuelvo a poner. Ahorita se la vuelvo a poner. Thank you. Okay, Ana Raquel. Here. Carlos Antonio. Claudia María. Here, teacher. Diana Elizabeth. Here, teacher. Jorge Humberto. Present, teacher. Jose Jonathan. Jose Rodrigo. Jose Tichon. Juan Carlos. Juan de Dios. Present teacher. Linda Ivet. Present teacher. Manuel Antonio. Present teacher. María Concepción. Present. María Elena Guadalupe. Present teacher. María Ernesto. Present. Nelson Gabarrete. Present. Norma Carolina. Present, teacher. Olga Marlene. Present, teacher. Silvia Zuleima. Silvita. Tatiana Michelle. Present, teacher. Wendy Maribel. Present, teacher. Okay, today I am going to ask Present. Anna, thank you. I am going to ask Anna Raquel to stay for a moment at the end of the class, okay? El uno a uno le toca este día a Anna Raquel. Nos vamos a quedar unos minutitos cuando termine la clase, okay? Yes, Anna Raquel? Great, very good job. Agree or disagree? <laughs> agree or disagree. <laughs> it is funny yeah. when, when you say, okay, I agree, you say, I agree. I agree. Este es como el momento que le dices, se va a quedar con la directora un ratito. Like, <laughs> Why did you? You don't, you don't have to feel afraid of, of, of staying in the last minute. Come on. It is very, it's very nice. I, I really like to talk with you for a moment. Okay. So what you are going to do is this one, right? This is for you. And I need you to write it on your notebook, right? Let me see uh, if I can... Can you see the screen? Yes. Or no? Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. From 11 to 20, I need you please to write it on your notebook, number 11, and write the answer only. Okay. No copien toda la, 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 la oración porque tal vez le va a tomar un poquito más de tiempo, pero escribamos la respuesta. Number 11 and write your answer. Number 12, and write your answer, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20, okay? Write your answers on your note. Okay, there you go.
exactly the answer, remember, right? Not the complete sentence. If you want to write it complete, no problem. I see some confused faces. They are like. Who has number one? Well, number 11 in this case. The store done up and yesterday. Mm. It, it has yesterday. So for sure, didn't. it's a past yeah. tense, right? The store did not. Yeah. Right, did not or didn't open yesterday. Because it's past tense. If you have, for example, here, the part that says yesterday, it's giving you the idea that it's in past. What about number 12? Brazil is a very large country. Is. <laughs> you cannot say was because it is still exist. Wow. If you say Brazil was a very large country, right? In the past, no. but now it's just like this. No, Brazil is, is. <laughs> because now it's bigger, <laughs> right? Brazil is a very large country, right? The verb be in this case, it's for is. Number 13. The train left. Or left. left. Uh, left. left. The train already <coughs> left, left an hour ago. It was like, no, hombre, ya se fue. Right, uh, three years ago. Mm -hmm. The train already left. Ya te dejo el tren. <laughs> the train already left an hour ago. Ah, right? yes. Already left, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> De mí no van a estar hablando. <laughs> <laughs> the train already left, right? An hour ago. You say, 20 years old. Next year, I am. 
I am. I am. I am 20 years old. I am. Right. I, I am. am. I am. No, you say I am. I am. 20 years old. Um, Next year, I, I will am. be 21. That was my um, example, right? Ese ejemplo lo puse yo, de mi vida. <laughs> Next year, I am going to be 21. What about number 15? Where are, where are the, where are are the where are coffee cups? Where are, are the coffee are. cups? I can find are. them. Búsquenlos en la oficina de alguien. Ahí van a estar todos. Where are the coffee cups? I can find them. And it says, uh, where are the coffee cups? In the bedroom. Go and look for them. Okay. <laughs> Saliendo del cuarto como con 20 vasos. Eh? I can't find them. It is very common with teenagers, right? Sam is at home. He is still wants to come that's with us. That's, 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 that's not. That's okay. it. That's not or doesn't. That's okay. That's not. Sam is at home. He still doesn't want to come that's with not. us. Okay, it's like, no, he doesn't want to go. Giraffes. Eight. 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 And in this case, you can also say eight, right? Eight. Giraffes ate the leaves of tall trees. Okay, si ya vieron los árboles pelones y ya las jirafas pasaron, so they ate it, eight. right? But in general, eight. a general fact is that they eat the leaves of oh. tall trees, right? That's a general fact. What time you, this morning, do you get up? Did. 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 Get up. Did you get up? Did you get up? Did you get up? What time did you get up? Did you get up? Did you get up? Okay. Get up. If you have the auxiliary deal, you don't change the verb anymore. Get up. What time? Get up. What time did you get up this morning? Up. Very good. Si no dijera, eh, a qué horas te ¿A qué hora esté levantado esta mañana? That would be impossible. And my, number 19. My, my no. family and I. Fly. 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 Flow. 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 It's like flow. It flows. <laughs> we flow. flow. Pero... My family have flow. <laughs> you have the flow, yo yo, right? <laughs> flu, flu, right? Flu. And you have to be careful because the flu, the flu is the one that you get, right? Now with COVID. Mm -mm -mm. Flu, flu. Flu, right? The flu. They flew to Peru last year. Flu. Right. COVID. Flu. Yeah. <laughs> Ok, la otra, la otra del COVID es así. Se la voy a poner aquí. Esa es la correcta. I am going to have the other one here. The flu. The flu. flu. Es la hecho, right? Pronunciation. Yeah. This one flu. is flu. flu. They flew flu to Peru last year. And flu. Este es flu. Flu, flu. con U cerrada. Flu. 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 And this one is flu. flu. With W, right? Okay. okay, and for sure the context, right? El contexto también le va a dar la respuesta. Porque si ustedes le dicen, I have the flu, no, no va a tener el, el vuelo pasado, right? Right? I don't, that's a very funny example in Spanish. But number 20, Thomas always watch. 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 What? 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 
watches. Thomas, third person. Thomas always watches, watches cartoons watches. on Saturday mornings, right? I think Me we too, all teacher. we all do. It. <laughs> if I have the time, also, I watch on cartoons. Sunday. Jesus, right? <laughs> oh, any time that I have a space, right? Ya una vez que uno tiene algún hijo en la familia, hay cartoons all the time. Okay. I love cartoons, teacher. I love them too. <laughs> yes. Okay, my dear class. It's time for us to go to bed, right? It's time for us to go to bed. And as I said before, right, we had the last energy booster. It will be a crazy phase. <laughs> we are going crazy to do a crazy phase to go to bed. <laughs> okay. Have a beautiful night, and I'm going to see you tomorrow <laughs> for you. the next class. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. I'm going to Bye. I'm going to stay Bye. with Ana Raquel. Bye. Okay, nos quedamos con Ana Raquel un ratito. Bye bye. Take care. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye, Mario. Take care. Bye bye. Bye. Bye bye. Okay, Ana Raquel, very good job. How did you feel in class? I, I enjoyed it. Oh, thank you very much. I am very glad to listen to that. Well, Ana Raquel, in general, what do you consider that you need to work the most, right? En general, acerca del idioma, ¿qué es lo que a usted le gustaría trabajar más? Uh, the listening. Okay, always, the listening. Or always is my my debility <laughs> okay that is your weakness your weakness okay your weakness is listening okay and how do you normally practice uh, never <laughs> oh you never <laughs> you know that's a problem right you, you never know. practice what are the, some the, the past years i you have I, it. I didn't practice and when did you stop studying ¿Desde cuándo no habías estudiado? Uh, science, uh, 2012, 2000, 2011. Oh my God, so it's almost 10 years. Yes. Almost 10 years, so yes. In this case, uh, for sure, you need to get a lot in the track again. Okay. Tenemos que volvernos a poner en el, en el track del aprendizaje. Right? And did you finish everything up to advance? ¿Terminaste todo el curso hasta, lo, hasta la parte avanzada? Uh, no. Mm, uh, and level, level 11. Level 11. Okay, yeah, it was like kind of an intermediate process. Okay, so in this case, Ana Raquel, you need to improve the listening, right? And what other areas uh, do you think that you have difficulties with? Only with listening? Mm, yes, because uh, the, the writing, uh, I, I think that uh, uh, it's not uh, uh, more difficult. Okay, the oh, writing. So, 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 so. <laughs> okay, the writing, you, do you consider, do you like to read? Uh, yeah. Okay, so that's something good. So if you like to read, for example, you can get a lot of vocabulary from it. Right, you can get a lot of new words, a lot of new vocabulary from reading, right? Ya sea que leas artículos, que leas eh, libros, series, eh, información in general. So the idea is that you get the best out of it and you can get vocabulary. With listening, for example, uh, there are some very good sites for you to practice listening. Mm -hmm. And for sure, if you like listening to music, that can be a good help. If you like series, that can be a very good help as well. The series, try to watch them in English, right? Do you have any favorite series? ¿Tienes uh, alguna que sea como tu favorita? Uh, los coreanos, los doramas. Ah, dorama. La serie es cool. Okay, so in this case... Uh, right now, I, I, I have in my cell phone uh, the app Duolingo. Okay, that's a very good thing as well because you can practice, right? You can practice as well. There, is a, there are some cases on which we say, okay, I have the app, 
ya, ya bajé la aplicación, they say, but you never use it. So if you have the app, use it, right? Use it. No le va a pasar como un amigo que ahí andaba el Duolingo y lo anduvo como siete años, pero solo en el teléfono. And he never practiced. And I said like, ya terminaste los niveles. No, es que ni la abro. <laughs> I was like, come on. I, I have a 90, 92 days uh, uh, continuing. Oh, that's very nice, right? Keep on the great work. It's a very good source of practice, right? And also it's a very good source of vocabulary. Another good thing that you can do, for example, if you like the doramas, try to watch them in English, right? You can start with the English uh, listening and subtitles, right? And then you can say English subtitles and English listening. So that can be something uh, beneficial for your listening uh, area. And in some cases you can pause the, the video, right? Puedes pausar el video, retrocederlo, escucharlo, y tratar de repetir algunas de las frases que ellos mencionen. Esa es una buena estrategia de, de listening para que tú lo puedas ir mejorando. ¿Okay? Por ejemplo, si ellos dicen, I really enjoyed the party yesterday. Entonces tú la, paras la, el, el video, de ahí lo retrocedes, escuchas bien la pronunciación que ellos dicen en la frase, la tratas de repetir y la vuelves a poner. So that's a, a, like a very good practice that you can do with the series, right? That you can eh, also shadow the sentences. La vas pausando, la escuchas, repetís, la volvés a escuchar, repetís, hasta que te vaya saliendo como en, el, en la entonación de ellos. Algunos de ellos tienen como un inglés diferente porque obviamente es como, como mucha influencia asiática y cosas así. Pero funciona mucho para que agarres vocabulario, para que agarres eh, pronunciación y stress de ellos. It's the same with music. If you like music, Get the lyrics of the songs, not only like, yo creo que dice tal cosa. No, get the lyrics and read the lyrics because that is going to be helpful for you to identify what you are listening, okay? No solo escuchar las canciones, sino que lee la letra de la canción. Y eso te va a ayudar un montón con el listening, okay? I have some sites that I can share with you. Tengo como tres sitios web que te pueden servir para listening. Y eh, para eso son estas reuniones, el uno a uno. Para que tú expreses tus necesidades y yo, desde mi lado, te pueda apoyar con lo que tengo y con lo que te pueda beneficiar. Okay, so I am going to be sharing some links for you to practice listening. I don't know if you are in the WhatsApp group already. Eh, tonight I, I introduce. Okay. So I am going to share the links there and you can grab it from there, okay? I am going to share the links on the WhatsApp group and you can download it from there. I'm going to share three for you to practice listening, okay? So that it's going to be very beneficial. Well, Miss Raquel, is there anything else that I can help you with? ¿Hay alguna otra cosa en la que te gustaría que te apoyara? Uh, right now, this is all okay. Okay, very good, Ana Raquel. And for me, it has been a great pleasure to talk to you, to get to meet you, and I am going to see you tomorrow, okay? For the beautiful next beautiful. class. <laughs> Have a beautiful night. Take good care. Night. Take care. Bye, Ana Raquel. Take care. Okay. Thank you very much. Have a beautiful night.